Illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing undermines the effective conservation of living marine resources and the sustainable management of fisheries globally. IU fishing has a substantial impact on the global fisheries economy. It is a threat to the livelihoods of fishers and other fishery sector stakeholders and exacerbates poverty and food insecurity. It is widely recognised that the implementation of the 2009 FAO agreement on port state measures in conjunction with the use of monitoring, control and surveillance tools and catch documentation schemes is expected to be the most cost-effective and efficient means of combating IUU fishing. The agreement lays down a minimum set of standard measures to be applied by port states when foreign fishing vessels seek entry into ports or while they are in port. Denying port entry to fishing vessels engaged in IU fishing, along with the prohibition of landing their catches and the use of port facilities in general, are considered to be highly effective deterrents to the operators and owners of such vessels. The implementation of port state measures by concerned states, strengthened by regionally agreed standards and requirements, will block or disrupt trade in IUU fishing derived products, making it extremely difficult for such operations to remain economically viable. Since 2009, the momentum for the adherence to the Port State Measures Agreement has been building up, slowly at first, and then steadily increasing. The progress in these last two years reflects the increasing recognition by the international community of the effectiveness and value of the agreement in combating IU fishing. The Port State Measures Agreement will become more effective as more states become party to it. Each state that implements this, this agreement is one less door IU fishers have to land their catches and access end markets. States must move ahead with ensuring that their ports become a solution to combating IU fishing and not part of the problem. Over recent years, FAO has delivered a global capacity development programme to facilitate the adherence to the agreement and contribute to the development of national capacity to maximise the benefits of its implementation. We are committed to broadening our capacity development programme in order to assist countries with enhancing their fisheries policy and legislative frameworks, as well as strengthening their institutional capacity and operation procedures, so that they would be in a better position to combat and eliminate IUU fishing.